think the biggest misconception that's still out there from the Women's Health Initiative is that estrogen causes breast cancer. I mean, that estrogen therapy causes breast cancer. And this is one of those things that it's a, it's a nuanced discussion for sure. But, you know, we know from the randomized controlled trials that it, it doesn't increase the risk of breast cancer. And so there's a lot of sort of small nuances to this, but that's the main thing that women are scared about when it comes to estrogen therapy right now, I think still. Yeah. And Dr. Killen, when you speak with women and interact in platforms like this out in the world, all the places you go, what do you want women to understand or sort of the hidden costs of that misunderstanding about estrogen therapy? The loss of estrogen at menopause, when you know estrogen kind of falls off a cliff at perimenopause and it essentially goes not to zero, but pretty close to zero, it, it results in so many chronic diseases that could potentially be either prevented or at least reduced if we were to give estrogen. And these are things like cardiovascular disease, which is the number one killer of women. It kills one in three women still, and we can potentially prevent that with the help of estrogen and of course a healthy lifestyle and other things, as well as osteoporosis, sarcopenia, which is muscle loss, which is very important, and even dementia. So there's all these parts of chronic medical health that we could improve potentially with estrogen therapy if we started early and in the right way.